As the COVID-19 pandemic began to take hold in the United States in late March, the Allen Institute for AI released an enormous data set of scholarly articles related to COVID-19 and other coronavirus strands. Researchers can access thousands to many millions of scientific papers. However, reading them all, or simply finding the research that is pertinent to their own work, could take valuable time, or worse, not be found at all. Can technology help us? The answer is yes. The Allen Institute for AI, partnering with leading research groups, have prepared an open research dataset about COVID-19 called CORD-19. As of March 20th, 2020, it contains over 44,000 scholarly articles, including over 29,000 with full text, targeted for use by the global research community. The White House Office of Science and Technology Policy in the United States has joined this initiative, issuing a call to action to AI experts. Help the science community answer high-priority scientific questions related to COVID-19. Here at Microfocus, we've downloaded this data and analysed it with IDLE, our unified text, speech, image and video analytics platform. Here's a demonstration of Microfocus IDLE's AI and machine learning in action using the open research dataset CORD19. We're logged into IDLE's Find application, providing secure access to the CORD19 dataset, which has been analysed by Microfocus IDLE. Without having to search for anything, IDLE's conceptual clustering ability has automatically generated a topic map, providing insight into key concepts identified within the data. Concepts such as cove, public health, stranded RNA and so on are surfaced for further investigation. In each case, there are subconcepts available. We can interact with the data in many ways. First, I'm going to adjust the topic map slider to full accuracy, which analyzes more documents. Refined key topics are now displayed, including morbidity and mortality, highly pathogenic, together with avian influenza and public health. Let's click on morbidity and mortality and use that concept as a query. The topic map refines with additional subconcepts to explore. Let's look at the subconcepts of acute respiratory. Remember that Microfocus IDLE learned about COVID-19 just from the documents it analysed. Microfocus IDLE and the topic map concepts will become even more intelligent as it's fed more data. IDLE was pre-taught about some relevant concepts, medical conditions and drugs. This knowledge was applied to the data as it was ingested into IDLE. The two filters on the left with the IDLE prefix are the result, new metadata generated by IDLE. Let's see some research papers. Microfocus IDLE provides an intelligent contextual summary to help us decide which documents to view first. Let's select one of these results and have a preview with highlighted query terms. We can also ask IDLE to show us similar documents to the one we're interested in and can view the original document from its source by clicking on the DOI URL link. Let's return to the other filters such as source, journal, author and so on, which came with the original CSV JSON attachments. The numbers next to values are the number of documents which match that value. If we expand journal, we can see the most relevant publications related to morbidity and mortality and influenza. This is a good hint of potential source literature to help guide further research. If we expand authors, we're made aware of potential experts in this field to contact. If we expand authors institution, we can gain insight into which institutions to potentially direct funding to. If we expand affiliation country, we can see which countries the publication's authors are from. Let's switch back to the topic map and mouse over avian influenza. An idle suggested link to Wikidata appears, offering more details on that topic. Let's now visualise these results with the sunburst visualisation. Selecting diseases and conditions, we can draw a pie chart. Selecting drugs to compare with that dimension, IDLE shows the breakdown of drugs with each disease and conditions value. The pie chart becomes a sunburst, a multi-dimensional pie chart. 
The two filters can also be reversed if required. Let's revisit the topic map once again and see how it changes simply by applying time constraints. We'll reuse some saved searches. Until October the 31st, 2019, the topic map and the underlying research looked like this, with no mention of COVID-19, China, and so on. From November the 1st, 2019 through to January 31st, 2020, the key concepts were these. And if we look into the China subconcepts, we can learn where. Hubei province. What, NCOV outbreak, novel coronavirus, and when, December, January. And from February the 1st, 2020 through to March 31st, 2020, the key concepts are these. It's remarkable how smart and helpful Microfocus Idol's augmented intelligence can be. That's it for today's look at Microfocus Idol. Thank you for your time and look out for further videos on other interesting topics in future.